Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, June 25th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Looks like we've got kind of a big stack in the center here today. Alright, let's start with one across. Presses down. Hmm, I wonder if this is tamps down? That's another word for kind of like putting pressure on something, right? Key symbol near the exclamation point. Hmm. Is that a tilde? That's kind of in the same area, right? Okay, that kind of confirms tamps, I think. Tough nut to crack. Hmm. Is it an acorn? Yeah, those are pretty tough little nuts there. Sang part of Old MacDonald. <laughs> I guess this is going to be an animal sound of some kind. Um, maybe it's mood. Nice. Okay, we've got a good start on the downs here. Let's see if we can maybe get some of these longer acrosses. Yeah, lunch now works for me. Hmm. Is this like about rearranging your schedule or something? Hmm. Lunch now works for me. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Showing promise. Okay, so it should be looking because of showing. Um, maybe it's looking okay. Hmm. What you'd love to own and drive. That would be your dream car, right? What's everybody's dream car? Okay, this blank here. This ends here, it has to be. Bead-like bit on a surfer's necklace. Oh man, what do they call those? Those are very popular in the 90s when I was growing up. I think they're called puka shells. So that would be puka shell. Oh, and then this is, I could eat, yes. <laughs> I like that phrase there. Ginormous, uh, I guess mega? Blank Bossy, first woman to earn a doctorate in science. University of Bologna, 1732. Whew, that is early. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I guess she was Italian. Garage brand. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think that's STP. I think that's motor oil that you could use in your dream car. So maybe instead of looking okay, it's looking up. That. I like better. Okay feels like kind of just mediocre, I guess. Um, yeah, looking up seems better. Okay, org for the Houston Dynamo and Austin FC, Austin Football Club. I guess that would probably be Major League Soccer. Um, I guess, is this Laura? Partner of Day. Hmm. And they have partner, they usually want something that can go with the following word with the word and. So it's not day and night. Day and... I mean, it probably should be an A, right? Unless it's Lori. Hmm, I'm not sure about that one actually. We filled in this section very smoothly that was great okay spirals out over the winter holidays and this is wordplay spirals this isn't about losing your cool over the holidays it's got to be a literal spiral of some kind huh weird what is that had quite a trip more wordplay. Is this about taking acid? Had quite a trip. Hmm. Its members were collectively awarded Time Magazine's 2017 Person of the Year. Oh man, I don't remember this. It's a big group of people. Hmm. Unearned advantage based on sex. Oh, um. Is that. It's probably going to start with male. Is it male privilege, maybe? I think that's right. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we got the center part of that stack in the 
Middle of the grid, okay. Hit HBO series based on a Lane? How do you pronounce this? Leanne? Moriarty novel? Um, hmm. I don't really have HBO, so I don't know if I know this. It's, hmm, Moriarty, like in Sherlock? Quick post-wedding getaway. Hmm, it's not a honeymoon. Hmm, this is tough. It's, it's tough building off uh, the couple of answers that we have. Let's see if we can build off of this center answer a little more, maybe? Styles associated with the Beatles. I think that's mop tops. Yeah, they're shaggy 60s hair. Taken care of without. Hmm. Thanks a blank. Thanks a bit. <laughs> I don't think so. Thanks a ton. Thanks a lot. Hmm. The more plausible ones have an O here. Be sycophantic. So you're sucking up to someone. I wonder if this could be snivel. Would that work? Endorsement for short could be a nod, yeah. Like especially a political nod. Hmm. Pests for a green farmer. Uh, is it some kind of mice? Prep class subject for short. Hmm. Prep class. I don't know. Could it be like an LSAT maybe? Like the lawyer test? This could end in S. I mean, that still seems pretty good because it is plural. Hmm. Blank Cruz, so-called queen of salsa. Hmm, man. I don't know this one. Parts of many rom-coms. This has been on the puzzle a few times lately. I think this is going to be meat cutes, right? All right, that's good. It kind of breaks us into this section here. We are starting to get quite a bit of down crossing help here. Four on the floor. Wordplay. Hmm. Four on the floor? I have no idea where the pun is going to be here. Is it about, like, animal paws or something? I don't know. Like, tutoring typically. Um, tutoring is typically one-on-one, -on -one, right? Okay. It's a lot of the same letters in there. O-N, <laughs> O-N, O-N. Okay. Um, can we get this one now? Hmm. Boy, I don't know. I'm trying to remember back to 2017. It just feels like a lifetime ago. Spirals. Oh, is it hams? Man, yeah, that's why I didn't get that. Jeez, okay. Um, hmm, had quite a trip. Huh, and it's past tense, right? Does, is this gonna be a D? Stub hub? More wordplay. This is not about ticket vendors, I guess. Stub hub. What other kind of stubs are there? Hmm. Taking care of, right, okay. It's not spread out. Is this a D? Activity common in nightclubs in brief? Is that PDA, public displays of affection? People getting sloppy in the nightclub. Um, it is a D. Okay. Hmm. Can we get this one? Man. I just haven't watched enough HBO. This is looking like LSAT, kind of. All right, maybe we can build down and get a little bit more help at the end here. Along for the ride, say... Hmm. Tarasi, who leads the WNBA in career scoring. Yeah, I don't know enough about basketball to get that one. 
tag. Hmm. This is not about the game of tag, I don't think. Acknowledgement with a shrug? Hmm. I would want this to be like, I suppose, or I guess. Hmm. 2014 Television Hall of Fame inductee. <laughs> I don't know, is it Leno maybe? It seems about the right time period. Gymnast Mary Blank Retton. That's Mary Lou Retton. She was on the Wheaties box. Um, peaceful protest. Uh, looks like it's going to end in out, right? Hmm. We didn't really have any luck getting the across clues up here. Slow hand singer, blank Horan. Yeah, I've heard this song. I don't know. I don't know the artist. Like some threats. Ooh, is that idle? Oh man, that's helpful. Okay, get the first letter of a lot of these. Um, maybe this is in tow. Yeah, there we go. It helps so much just to have that first letter. Not gonna get that one. Tag. Is this like tag on social media? I don't know. Hmm. Peaceful protests. Walk out, maybe? That would be good. This could be Diana, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so this is a tag, like a label. This is not a verb. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, is it table legs? <laughs> okay, sure. Is four on the floor something else? Does that have another meaning? I don't know. I've never heard this phrase before. Does this have like a standard meaning? Like about dancing or something? I don't know. Um, is this well okay? Hmm, I guess. And then is this Nial Horan? And then Diana. Ooh, that's a tough proper noun cross there. Nial Horan and Diana. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty unforgiving there. All right. Um, is this Weevils? I really want this to be Weevils. So maybe it's not Nod. I wonder if... Snivel is wrong also. Let's see, weevil, like the bull weevil for cotton. Um, yeah, this seems, it can't be ASE, right? That's not a thing. So I guess Snivel is wrong. Yeah, Snivel is not really, it's not really being sycophantic. It's more like being pathetic and whimpering, right? Okay, so could this be day? So this would be a, hmm, boy. Is this movement? Ooh, this seems like it should be movement. Maybe this is the Me Too movement. That would be good. Wow, Me Too movement over male privilege. <laughs> These seem related. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so maybe be sick of anti could be grovel. There we go. That's good. This day and age. There we go. Boy, it took forever to see that, didn't it? Endorsement for short. Hmm. Is it rep? Like you're going to represent something? Hmm. It could be. Blank Cruz, so-called Queen of Salsa, right? Hmm. I want this to be P, but I don't know this name. Um, okay, so this could be sorted out. Thanks, Emil? Yeah. Um, this looks like Little Lies, right? Is it like Big Little Lies? It's that sounds vaguely familiar to me. Had quite a trip could be ate it. Oh, like if you fall off of a bike or a skateboard or something. Okay. It wasn't about acid. Okay. <laughs> stub hub toe. Yes, you stub your toe a lot, so that would be the hub of where all the stubbing is happening. Okay. Hat tricks are seen in them. 
I guess this is not about hockey. Maybe this is magic acts. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a nice little misdirection there. I like that. Quick post wedding getaway. Yeah. I, I guess this is big little lies. That seems like it has to be. World's largest pasta producer. Um, I guess this is not a country. Maybe it's Barilla. That's like a brand that makes pasta, right? What minuscule is often misspelled with? Uh, an I? Oh, so people put an I where this U is. Minuscule. Minuscule. Oh, interesting. I probably would have spelled it with an I too. That's funny. All right, we're learning how to spell. Very good. Costa blank has to be Costa Rica. Uh, this starts with mini. Mini trip? I don't know. Tab on a Google search. That's images, right? It's one of the options. So is it a mini moon? Kind of like a portmanteau. Hmm, okay. Light? Is that locale? This is ad speak, right? Buncha. Very kind of informal language here. Maybe lots of some more informal language. Fire blank gemstone. I think uh, that has to be agate. So maybe it's lotta instead of lotsa. And then environmentalist Adams. I think that's Ansel Adams, right? And then that would give us El Al. Is that the Israeli airline? It doesn't offer flights on Saturday mornings. I guess not. I guess that's um, Shabbos. Yeah. Is that why? I would assume that's what it is. Okay. Um, wasn't the first time enough an equivalent phrase? Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. This one, though, is looking like LSAT. I think we can go ahead and put that in. So maybe this is not rep. Maybe it's rec, like recommendation. And then this can be Celia Cruz. That sounds very plausible. Okay, let's just put that in. I feel safe enough in that guess. All right, Italian for so. Hmm, we've had a good amount of Italian on this puzzle. We've had some pasta. We've had our uh, first woman to earn a doctorate. Yeah. All right, well, I don't know this one. I really don't know Italian at all. Band together against. Team up on, maybe? Yeah, that could be. Question that's rarely a sign of good news. Uh, hmm. It's... I, I would want this to be like, are you sitting down or something? Um... Really a sign of good news. I wonder if it's something like that. Genre for Bridget Riley's shadow play. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Um, yeah. Crack? Crack could be like a really skilled person, like you're a crack shot or something if you're good at shooting. Uh, hmm. Aid for a cartoonist. Maybe that could be an inker. Yeah, if you just do the penciling. Question that's rarely a sign of good news. Um, yeah, I still don't know. Get overly personal, perhaps? Hmm. This should be like about prying into or something, right? Compound with a fruity smell. Uh, this is not an aster because that's a flower, right? We learned that yesterday. So maybe it's an ester? I think that's what's in perfume. Hmm. Splicing target. Hmm. I would want this to be a gene, like gene splicing, you know? So maybe instead of team up on, it's gang up on. That still works. And then this could be gene splicing. Okay, group founded by Easy E. Oh yeah, that's uh, NWA, right? That also had Ice Cube in it. He was on the puzzle a few days ago. Nice. All right, workers you wouldn't want to see in the office. I guess it would be ants. Yeah, you don't want worker ants in your office. Um, I guess this could be again. That would be a good equivalent phrase. Um, can we talk? Yeah, you never want to hear that. That's <laughs> this rarely leads to something good. Okay. Um, 
Hmm. What is this? X. Hmm. They're good to know. Inns? Like having inns? That's a good thing to know. Um, yeah, they can get you connections. So what is this? X? Boy, I was hoping we could get this first letter. Is this hit a nerve? Oh, yeah. That would make sense. Okay. Oh, this is the Greek letter Chi. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a cross, right? Oh, man. That's tough. Okay. Um, okay, so maybe this is op art. Op art is kind of like... They're kind of like optical illusions, right? Shadow play, that kind of makes sense. It kind of sounds like it could be sort of an optical illusion. And then... Crack could be solve, as you would a crossword. What a great answer to end on. And then I guess that gives us cozy for so. Isn't that the name of a, like a breakfast chain of restaurants? Interesting. Okay. Well, let's end on solve here and hope that does it for us. Nice. 22 minutes for a Friday. That seems very good. Yeah, I felt like we blew through this northwest corner really quick and then we kind of slowed to a more typical Friday pace for the rest of the puzzle. This is a very nice center stack here. It's kind of a a little bit of a themed stack, it seems like, right? Um, and I think a lot of the rest of the longer answers are really good too. Magic Acts is nice. Puka Shell is really good. <laughs> it's really fun, especially for people that grew up in the 90s. They would be very familiar with that. Meat Cutes is good. It's been on the puzzle a few times recently, but it's still such a good piece of fill. Um, can we talk and hit a nerve? Whew, that's a spicy little corner down there. Um, and I could eat looking up. Yeah, this is all good. Mini moon. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, but yeah, very nice. Oh, I like weevils too. Very, very good. Yeah. This had a lot of fun fill. I think my only complaint is this, um, proper noun cross up here. This is a little dicey here. I mean, Diana, it's, it seems like people should be able to get Diana once you get the rest of this filled in, but still. Very tricky, but uh, overall, a very nice and smooth Friday puzzle and a great center stack here. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that themeless Friday with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week this Saturday, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.